here's the steps. So we went to raspberrypi.com, got the software. Once we have the software in set, we're gonna go ahead and walk through the steps of installing it. Then just click finished. All right, so now I'm gonna select the OS. So we can do it two ways. So we can do custom, where we already have prefetched all our ROMs. Or we can just go to Pi and then go to which version. So if we're using 64-bit, if we have a Raspberry Pi 3, 4, or 400, we can choose that. And then we would choose our micro SD card. I have mine already in the reader, and then we're gonna hit write. It's gonna ask us are we sure, and we're just gonna let that cook. And then, All right, so there we go. So now we're gonna just follow the steps here. Click next, select our language. So we're gonna go with the United States instead of the UK. We're gonna hit next. Here we're gonna put in a password or just leave it blank. And then we can say, so now it's gonna, get, it's gonna fetch all our updates for us. There we go. So now we're going to go to the web browser to saw Raspbian. We're just going to, well, so now we're going to head, go ahead and install our, our DNS. So we're going to just type in pie hole and do a quick search on that. And it should be, well, it'll still take us. So here's the logo for the ad blocking DNS. So now we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And then we're gonna scroll down. So these are all the different variations that they've made it easily to install. So we're gonna just go in right here, install. So it's gonna get us to the GitHub. And then we're gonna use this curl we're gonna copy and paste that right in. And then, there we go. So this curl command is gonna do essentially fetch and then run the installer. All right, so, so it looks like I need to update my Pi first. So let me go ahead and do that. So we just gonna do Again, we can just literally copy this right here and copy and paste. There we go. It's going to say yes, 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 yes. Then we're going to let that go for a moment and then, then we'll rerun the curl command. Oh, there we go. So just going to up arrow, launch the curl. Now that we have the machine updated, now it's gonna to check to see if there's any more upgrades for any packages that we need to install. So this is it, one of the easiest projects to do. This is my first, one of my first projects I've ever done in a Raspberry Pi. So now it's fetching all the utilities that we need to make this work. So it's nice and easy. And then it's going to say, hey, we're going to transfer this into a network by blocker. We're going to say, sure. If we want to donate, that's going to tell us where. Cool. It's going to say the pie hole needs a static IP address. That's fine. So we can say, so we can manually put one in there or just use the one that we currently have. So we can go in there or we can set it up for later. So I'm just going to say, yes, use this current one. 
and then which DNS. I like using Quad9 filtered. It adds a little protection, so I'm gonna go with that one. And then I'm just gonna say yes, and install the web interface, yes. And then keep going. And if you want the statistics, if you want it to be more private, then you're gonna say no. But if, you, you know, if you're learning IT and stuff like that, it's good to go through the logs and see how it all works. I'm just gonna say yes. I'm gonna say show everything. And then it's just gonna finish installing. And then we should be up and running in a moment. And there we go. So there's our web address, web address and stuff. So let's go ahead and check that out and see. All right. So I'm just going to make this nice and easy. So we're going to go HTTPS. Or no, it's probably not HTTPS. So we'll just try this and see. So we're going to go 192168. In my situation, yours may vary on how you're using what IP address space you're using. So there we go. So now I'm just moving mine over just so I can see the address. So it's zero. And if I typed it in correctly, no, it didn't. So, all right, so let's try that one more time. I guess third time is not a charm. <laughs> All right, let's. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't copy and paste that, so. And let's uh, show key. And my last pass is blocking me from being able to see what I'm typing in zero. You. H O. All right. So I'm going to just go ahead and do our pass recovery. So I'm just going to type that in there because for some reason I'm having a hard time typing that in the password for whatever reason. So, all right, I'm not going to hit refresh, and there we go. So, there we go, there we go. So, there we are. So here we have the dashboard, group, clients, and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to go to settings. And again, here's all the settings of the pie hole. So I'm going to need to set up my machine. So just for demonstration, I'm going to set mine up to use the IP address of my machine. So here we go. Now, I'm going to go to the DNS, change it to manual. Yeah. And
Hmm. Windows 10 certainly, or Windows 11 certainly doesn't make it really. Ah, there we go. It's going to be 192.168.2. And I just need to look at my. Oh, I guess. There we go. I guess I could just look here. Only if I was smart enough. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and pop that in there and fix that part. All right. So now. If I start turning on my random generator. So now we can see that I am now getting some data into this. So there we go. So I can go to tools. And then here you would want to periodically update. So this would update all your ad blocking information into here, you can manually add domains, clients, so who you want to be able to access, not access, again, uh, you can set up your own lo local DNS and C name again. So, so there's some additional tools in here. You can go to audit logs, so you can see some of the different DNS information that's in there, again, here we can see how much cash, pie hole group we're in, utilization, how hard is this thing working, how much memory it's taking up. And we can see, we can manually go in here and change our DNS servers if we wanted to. We could even set up DHCP on this. So if we wanted this to provide IP addresses and stuff like that. So let's say our home router doesn't support it. We could uh, disable the DHCP on that, enable DHCP on this guy, and then put in our information and then our router would no longer hand out IP addresses. And now our Raspberry Pi would do our ad blocking and our DHCP for us. So it's kind of cool. All right. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this.